Hey everybody, DK here. Um, this is going to be a short, quick video. This is a Task Force branded uh, cordless screwdriver. That's uh, probably a house brand of a store, I think. I don't remember if it was Kmart or what it was. But uh, I bought it at an estate sale. Actually, it came in a pile of stuff in an estate sale. And I like the layout and the way it was made uh, as far as the button and the trigger and things that seem convenient enough. When plugged into the charger, the motor tries to run. But obviously with batteries that are this toasted, it isn't going to run. These are 600 milliamp hour um, NICAD batteries, 1.2 volts, and they're wired in series uh, to give you a 3.6 volt uh, system. Uh, NICADs and NIMH uh, type are usually interchangeable easily, so I've got some uh, <coughs> 2300 milliamp hour NIMH batteries here and we're going to uh, make a replacement battery for that. Um, the other things I got at the sale uh, were well worth my money, so this was kind of like, a, you know, on the free pile, if you will, and, uh, you know, never hurts to have something like this around. They're just Okay, so I've taped my batteries together much in the same vein as the originals were taped together. Um, I think they used a uh, quick welding technique here, um, I don't think that's soldered. I'm going to try to heat it up and see if it wants to pop off. Um, if not, you know, we can uh, re redo the wires, but obviously I'm going to solder it because that's the tools that I have. Um, we want to just basically mimic the pattern, which in this case it is uh, plus, minus, minus over here. So that will be... And I'll throw my batteries on the floor. Anyway, they're arranged the same. Okay, just so for it. the original tabs just kind of pulled off of there, which is fine. Um, so I just reused them. Plus to minus, plus to minus. So now I have my plus end and I have my minus end, and I should get three volts if these are charged. I don't know if they're charged. Let's just for kicks and giggles see if we have 3.3 volts. We'll use the crap -o meter here. Let's see what we got. 3.8 volts, so yeah, we're, we're good to go. These batteries are charged. They have juice. Cool. Alright, ready to install. So we're just going to put these in here, solder the plus to that, solder the minus to that, and stuff it all back down in the case. Hippie. Okay, kids. So I learned something. The dimensions of an Energizer cell and the cells that were in their stock really, really, really look the same. They really do. But you can tell there's more diameter, more girth, if you will, to the aftermarket battery. So that made things <coughs> difficult. And rather than filming a lot of swearing and frustration, I just went and dealt with it. Um, I ended up trimming back because we have a little bit more length and a little bit more girth. It's a significantly stronger battery, and I know there's some people doing the Beavis and Butthead laugh at home. Huh, <laughs> you said girth. <laughs> I know. Um, I took a rotary tool, a rotary tool, and trimmed back some of the plastic and things to get it fit. To get it to fit, it fits tight. The battery doesn't shake around. It's not going to move. Um, and then a matter of getting the switch into the right place and the charge port into the right place and getting everything screwed down so the seams line up and you can tell I still got just a smidge of an air gap there but it's close enough and getting everything back together it's a pain but it's done um, this was one of those projects that was supposed to be easy and fun and take two minutes but uh, it took a little longer it had a little bit more frustration but we do have a working functional screwdriver once again and we'll give that some time to charge up and the world will be a happy place so thanks for watching